recognized for two minutes. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairman and Mr. Speaker. Uh, the gentlelady from New York is a good friend, and I respect her so much. And she asked some important questions that the House has to answer. Now, why, and, and she's been here a good while, I've been here a good while, why would we be proceeding in this fashion? Uh, first of all, the House, we're trying to get to regular order. The Congress has not passed a budget, hasn't passed most appropriations. We live from CR to CR. We, there's been such an instability in, in this institution. Here for the first time, we have the opportunity, and I believe it's within the hour that the, the other body may act, or has, have they acted. They've, they've had this question for, before them for a long time. But here we have the possibility of going to a conference. And this is an important issue. This is an issue in which the president himself has said, uh, I think, 22 times that he doesn't have the authority to do what he did. The courts have upheld the position that we have, or at least put a stay on the president's action. This is a very important issue because it affects the entire nation. So if we could get to regular order, we want to keep the government open. We want national security and homeland security to move forward. And we're offering that and also the opportunity for a little bit of time to go to regular order to make the process work. Why shouldn't the House of Representatives have the opportunity to sit down with the Senate and work out the differences and honor the law that we passed and the president is abusing. So, Mr. Speaker and my colleagues, I think we need to do this in regular order, and there is good ease, uh, reason to act in the fa fashion that Republicans are advocating. I yield back the balance of my Mr. time. Mr. Speaker, I yield.